Sam Smith is on him. They play a very pressurized defense, as Tom Hawkins said. Hardy from the outside, no good. Rebound. Las Vegas, Gondo, Glenn Gundams it. Gondo shoots. No good. That's Marlon Redmond bringing the ball now to Chubby Cox. Cox number 23, Robert Smith on him. Hardy, good rebounder, gets it in to Cartwright, lost the ball, foul is called. Looks like Redmond, Hardy, Cartwright, Cox, and Boynes at the line for San Francisco. Boynes is an 84% free throw shooter, and he's one of the super sophomores on this young San Francisco team. And it's a 2-0 game. We expect a lot of scoring, no doubt. Here's Moffitt way outside. Gondo over to Sam Smith, and Sam Smith travels as he starts toward midcourt. Nevada, Las Vegas, an amazing team. They'd like to have between 125 and 130 possessions a game and keep the opposition to 116. That means they have to get their hands on that ball every 10 seconds. Here's Bourne. Hardy. Redmond underneath, caught right by himself. Now this is where Nevada, Las Vegas can be hurt. Inside. Smith from outside. Robert Smith. They have no fears as far as perimeter shooting is concerned. They hit 49% from the field as a team. Four to four. You try to get a feeling for this game, and the only feeling you get is there's going to be a lot of scoring. And now Moffitt gets called with his first personal foul. Larry Moffitt at 6'9 has had a tremendous disadvantage. Bill Cartwright, number 24, the San Francisco center, is 6'11 and a half. Robert Moffitt is a great leaper. That's the second team foul. They get the ball in underneath, and there's two points for Boynes. Six to four. You'll see a lot of turnovers in this game, Jim, because this is the way that Nevada Las Vegas plays it. All out, all the time, high pressure. They know what they have to do, run. They want to dictate the pace of the game. Redmond. Las Vegas pressing a bit down court, but Redmond brings it up in the corner. Hardy is there. He's a good leaper, but shoots over the basket. Redmond has it, gets the shot away, and it is no good. And Moffitt has the rebound. Down the side, Orm, their leading scorer. Scores. First two points for Andy Orm. And it's six all. This is Boynes. Chubby Cox, transfer from Villanova. Great floor leader with Robert Slick Smith on him. Dondo, three on one on the fast break. And a whistle blew back up court, and it's a double dribble on Gondrasek. And that's two turnovers for Gondrasek. He's their leading rebounder and also their muscle man. At 6'6", six, six, he pulls down 11 a game, and he really goes at it. 17-29 to go, 6 all. And it's the kind of frantic game that we thought we would see. Bring your computers if you're keeping score. <laughs> Underneath, Cartwright on the feed from Hardy. All the way in is Gondrasek. And he is charged with charging. Check that. That's it. Gondrasek loves to put his head down and go right into that hoop. That is the third team foul, the first on Gondo. And now, oh, look at this fast break. Down there all by himself is Boyne. Nobody is back on defense. Boy, you're talking about falling asleep. Gondo, Moffitt shoots. Off the front, San Francisco with the rebound. Never lost the game until they hit Notre Dame in the final regular game of the season. And Bob, Bob Gillian said uh, before the game that he didn't think that his team was even thinking about it. It's the game at hand today. Mark Ryan is walking with the ball, trying to get through Gondo and Moffitt. Moffitt will have to have some help. There is no way at 6'9 that he's going to control the near seven-footer, Bill Codright. So Gondo will have to help Moffitt. Gondo with the ball now to Robert Smith. Smith in the middle to Moffitt, makes a nice fake and puts it in. First two points for Larry Moffitt, who's averaging only 8.1 points a game. 
10 to 8, San Francisco. Don's won a couple of national championships. Remember those with Bill Russell and Casey Jones back in the mid-50s? Boynes gets the ball into Cartwright, who turns and misses the ball and goes off the foot. It looked like a uh, ball in Redmond. A Redmond, and he's going to be called with a foul for pushing off. That's the first foul against the Dons of San Francisco. And that was a good defensive play by Moffitt. He actually got a hand on Cartwright's fall away jumper. 10-8. Their best shooter misses and the fast break again and again. Redman with the ball. Owens takes it away. Robert Smith trying to get in underneath. Feeds away off the hands of the Dons. But they say it was off Las Vegas. And so the Dons have the basketball. Robert Smith as quick as Ricky Green of Michigan. Number 10. Former teammate of Marcus Johnson. Javi Cox with Robert Smith right on him. Boynes in backcourt, Sam Smith's that matchup. Hardy with Gondo on him. Trying to get the ball in to Cartwright. It was 6-11 and a half. He's walking with the ball. Boynes called with walking with the basketball. I hope that the Dons won't fall into the trap that most teams will. Knowing that they have the advantage inside, they will stand around and try to get that ball into Cartwright and not have the offensive mobility that they need. Smith comes out, and Reggie Theus, number 23, has replaced him. That's Sam Smith out. There's Reggie Theus now. First substitution of the ballgame. Owens, their best shooter, misses on his second attempt. Whistle blows underneath. It's on Cartwright. That'll be his first, the second team foul. Theus. We have a final score, 7 Illinois, 81, Arizona, 77. Walking charge against Owens. So Owens can't seem to get going, Jim, and he is their leading scorer, averaging 21 points a game. If he gets hot, watch him. He has a beautiful jump shot. Easy hit. Poetry in motion. Two-point lead for San Francisco. They've got the basketball, but only for the moment. Turnover calls by Theus. He's got the basketball now. Passes to Cartwright. Off his hands out of bounds. Cartwright coming back on defense made a good play because Eddie Owens would have had an easy layup underneath. Here's Theus going in, tries to get over to Eddie Owens, and Cartwright knocks it out. Back live, Theus drops one through. Reggie Theus. Just a sophomore from Inglewood, California. And boy, does he have speed for his size. Shot from the side is good. That's Marlon Redman, and he's the only senior on this young San Francisco club, and a stabilizing factor. Theus. Oh! Well, there we go. This is what we expected. The pace is picking up. No foul there. Boyd puts the basketball underneath to Hardy, who's a good leaper, misses the ball. Comes out with it as Theus, still has it. Underneath is Gondo, passed by Theus. And Theus showing one of his better passes. The 6 7, he's one of the better passing big men in the country. Beautiful pass to Gondo Zick for two. Las Vegas by two. To Cartwright, underneath, cannot control it. Robert Smith picks it up. To Gondo, loses the ball. Chubby Cox has it. Long pass to Cartwright by himself. Six points for Cartwright. This looks like the local racetrack. 14-14. There will be not much time for idle chat on this game. Owens has not scored yet. He's missed on his only shot. Here's Theus, who can pass, who can leap, and can shoot. Gets the ball up and in. I tell you what, Robert Smith on the same ball club leads the nation in free throw shooting. This misses that. It's 16-14 Las Vegas. Dubby Cox, Robert Smith, the nation's leading free thrower, playing defense now, whistle underneath. Lewis Brown, number 24, has come into the game, replacing Larry Moffitt. Lou Brown, also from Los Angeles, Burbank Day High School. Averaging 11 points off the bench. And it's Brown who drew the foul. Redmond finally takes the shot right into the hands of Theus. Las Vegas, Smith, they are quick. Smith, Chubby Cox is all over him. 
Las Vegas by two. By the way, Utah here defeated St. John's in an exciting first game. Here's Theus by himself. He has eight points, and he just came in the ball game a couple of minutes ago. A four-point lead. That's the biggest lead so far. Theus will do this about six times a game. He probably leads the nation in taking charges. Rondo intercepts. Can't keep the ball in bounds. Glenn Gondo guns it. A question for you, Jim. Is San Francisco used to this kind of pacing? Can they keep this running up? Nevada, Las Vegas, we know can. They've done it all year. That's how they score 108 points a game. San Francisco, a more deliberate team. We'll see if the running takes its toll. Redmond goes out. Randall is in, number 21. Dodge Chubby Cox. Boynes with the ball now. Randall right there. Whistle blows. Usually does. Randall converts and has his first point. 18-15. Well, hardly a chance to set the lineup for you. Here's Gondo on the side. There's Lewis Brown. First shot way short. Picked down by Hardy. And now here's Rob Williams. Boynes. Ball is intercepted by Sam Smith. Here comes the quick Las Vegas team. Two on one. Miss. Underneath by Theus. To Hardy. Controlling. Boynes. Good. Second point for Boynes. Can't give Boynes that shot. It's almost automatic from 15 feet. Anywhere around that circle. It's 18 apiece. Theus. Randall's on in. Both teams have been using man for man. Sam Smith from the side. Smith now has four points. Las Vegas leads by two. Here comes Boyne. Number three in five ranked teams in the nation. There's Cartwright. Brown can't even get to him, but Smith picked him up from behind and drew the foul. Two shots for Cartwright. His first time to the line. He now has seven points. Also into the Nevada Las Vegas lineup, number 22 is Tony Smith. There are three Smiths on Nevada Las Vegas. They are not related, nor do they sell cough drops. <laughs> All the way in was Smith. And now the follow-up shot by Moffitt. Now from behind. Moffitt looks like he was caught on the foul. There's a jump shot. It is off. Here's the rebound. And yes, Moffitt comes right in and over the back. That's the seventh team foul. And so it'll be one and one. Vegas had 46 points in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> so they are cases. That was unbelievable. There were four men underneath that basket, up above it, at least a foot above the basket. The Rebels of Nevada, Las Vegas control. They call them the running Rebels, and here comes one of them, Slick Smith. That's Gondo. In the corner, on him is Hardy. Sam Smith has hit from there before, and now he draws the foul from Boynes. That's the fourth team foul, the first foul went for Boynes. Well, Boynes knew that he had to get over there quickly because Sam Smith is deadly from that corner. He's a great outside shooter. Alan Thompson will come in. Bob Gaylord now has used eight men this early. And of course, Las Vegas likes to play eight men. They call them eight starters. But at this pace, they're going to wear down in a hurry. And that's what Las Vegas likes to do, wear people down. Owens has the ball knocked away. Good and defensive so play. By Alan Thompson, who just came into the game. Number 20. Gets it to Rod Williams, who brings it up court. They like to front their men. Las Vegas does and stay right on them on defense. You've got to watch your every dribble against them. Whistle blows. And they point it to number 42, and that is Moffitt. And by my count, that's his third. If you're holding, they need him. They definitely need him. Lewis Brown sitting over there. The, the, here, here's Rod Williams looking to pass in the Cartwright. Jeff Randall gets it, and look at Moffitt. He's got an arm lock on Bill Cartwright. All right, Cox, Hardy, Randall, 
Thompson. That's a shot from the side by Robert Smith. Two now has four points. Ball knocked away, picked up by Las Vegas again, and then knocked out of bounds. San Francisco. Jim Simpson, if you blink on this Rebel team of Nevada, Las Vegas, you miss some action. There is something going on at every inch of that floor at all times. Look at Owens brought him on the inbound pass. <laughs> Chubby Cox. Russell traveling his call. Jeff Randall over in the corner. Thought he would get a good quick first step. Bill Cartwright of the University of San Francisco on the bench taking a breather. Now San Francisco pressing man-to-man -man full court. That is Smith. Moffitt, Theus, Sam Smith. And Owen Drian as Robert Smith shoots. Redman has the rebound. too soon. Hong and still got the rebound. Quick pass in and in to Owens and he misses it. Goes up again and has his first point. The crowd, was, the, the crowd was cheering Reggie Theus and his famous look away pass. There are 4,500 Nevada Las Vegas rooters here and they've got about 3,000 red and white pom poms. 24-20 Las Vegas. That is Randall being guarded by Owens to get the ball inside to Hardy. They do. And that was on Hardy. They call a charge on Hardy. No Hardy. basket. Foul on Hardy. Hardy went high to get that ball and tried to get position. Nine minutes, 54 seconds to go. First half, 24-20, University of Nevada. Line. Members consistently support this trend because they're committed to providing athletic leadership in this country. He has misses the preceding announcement furnished by the NCAA, and <laughs> you're seeing a pip today. Here's San Francisco, Hardy from the corner, yes sir. Jim Hardy has his first points of the day. Los Angeles well represented, Hardy is from the Long Beach area. Sam Smith, bingo! Six points for Smith. 26-22, Nevada, Las Vegas. Points. Francisco in green, the dark uniforms. Cartwright back in. Cartwright and, and, and Cox are having a conversation out there. And not too friendly. And Cox lost the ball. That stairs over to Moffat. He tied. Las Vegas by two. Well, it's Cartwright. Williams. Boynes at the line. Hardy and Redmond with San Francisco five. Robert Smith. Sam Smith, Reggie Theus, Eddie Owen, and Larry Moffat for San Francisco. Four straight for Boyne from the foul line. He's got 10 points. 28-24. They're running Rebels. Sam Smith, who loves to get a shot away from there, instead inside to Owens, and he is fouled. And this foul is on Brett from that fifth second. And Eddie Owens using the body beautifully underneath there. And picking up that foul on Marlon Redman. Owens is so smooth. He's from Wheatley High School in Houston, Texas. He was 1973, the Texas Prep Player of the Year. Outstanding All-American. Well, I tell you what. I know that San Francisco does not like this pace because this pace is all in Nevada, Las Vegas' favor. And that was Reggie Theus going in and stealing that rebound, going up and picking up another foul. They hustle constantly. Jerry Tarkanian told me that three-fourths of their practice time has been on defense, and it's defense that's gotten them 108 points a game. Well, Marlon Redman was one of the leading scorers of better than 17 points, now has three personal fouls. Theus goes to the line. There's Jerry Tarkanian, the nail biter and the towel chewer. And as you can see, he's munching away. Theus gets two shots. He's missed the only time he's been there before, but does not miss now. Now has nine points. 30, 24, 
Nevada, Las Vegas. 31-24. The running Rebels by seven. Their biggest lead. Chubby Cox from outside. In and out. Goes up point. And he is fouled on Moffitt. Is that three on Moffitt? Looks like four. If it is four, Larry Moffitt, the junior college transfer, will be in trouble. Third, Brown. check it. It is third. It is his third. He thought sure he had the hand on the ball. Well, it, looked, it looked good to me, but it looked it's like also he bumped Boynes with his body. That's five in a row now for Boynes from the line. Donrizic comes back in. Moffitt will go out. You'll probably see a little uh, Nevada Las Vegas zone now because you've got a very short team in there. Reggie Theus and Andy Owens, six seven, the tallest men on the court for the Rebels. Las Vegas by five. Tony Smith back in. Dondo with a clear shot from the line and hits it. Four points for Gondrasek. You know they say in basketball you can't win consistently on perimeter shooting. Las Vegas, Nevada does. inside and he's going to miss that and it's followed and it's good by Redman. Four points for Redman. 38-28. Theos from outside. Yes, sir. They have no conscience whatsoever. If well, it's uh, just a bit of daylight, they'll fire. Well, points. We told you you could see a 200-point game today. Incredible. Feed the Hardy. the Nevada Las Vegas fans but it was a good call on the referee you'll watch Eddie Owens now he's not positioned he runs over there and moves into place he hadn't established himself there's Jerry Tarkanian going crazy can't agree with the call that's the third foul on Owens there's a lot of confusion over there. Hardy is shooting the free throw, and then the Battle of Las Vegas bench wants to turn out. Well, Thomas, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, we have momentarily lost the sound in the game from Tucson between the University of San Francisco and Nevada, Las Vegas. Please stand by. We will conti continue with the picture portion of the game.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have lost the sound from Tucson in the game between USF and Nevada Las Vegas. Please stand by. We hope to have the sound restored momentarily. We will continue with the picture. of those in a row from the foul line. Here's Tony Smith from the side. No good, and he's got his own rebound. DeGondo, who picked it up after losing it. Tony Smith, number 22. It's about 5'11", but what a leap. What a leap. There's Boynes now with 16 points. 41-34. Las Vegas by 7. And again, we're sorry that for the moment, we lost our audio. Lewis Brown gets it away, in and out. Cartwright. Whistle blows. Robert Smith called, trying to guard Chubby Cox going into the basket there. Both teams are about eight men deep. They play about eight men regularly. Thirty-four. Cox at the line. Well, you were watching while our audio was away, and you see that the spread has remained six to seven the whole way, and that more and more fouls are being called. And a lot of folks are getting in foul trouble. Here's Sam Smith. He hits from there. Eight points for Sam. They call him Sudden Sam. Again, the seven-point lead. For Las Vegas. Feet underneath. Hardy. Up and in. That was a difficult shot. Hardy had to get that ball in very heavy traffic. Robert Smith. That's goaltending. Give Robert Smith two points. Hardy, Hardy had to come a long way from that one, but for that one, but Robert Smith came over. Watch him. Here he goes with a big leap. But the ball was on his downward flight. Rod Williams comes in, number 15 in your picture. Cox goes out. 45-38. Seven-point lead. You know, Jim, one of the most tiring things in basketball, and there's Jerry Tarkanian, the winningest active coach in major college basketball. Point eight three six. This is his fourth year at Nevada, Las Vegas. He's been five at Long Beach State University. Wherever he has been, he has been a winner. Well, you know, Tom, it was Las Vegas saying that if San Francisco only had a 10-point lead at halftime, San Francisco was in trouble. The way it's going now, it might be Las Vegas that will have the lead at halftime, and San Francisco would be in trouble. Nevada, Las Vegas, definitely a second-half club. There's Williams, he threw right into the hands of Robert Smith. The bounce pass to Thiers, reached in as Randall. Thiers still with the ball and two points. You're talking about being in the right place at the right time. Thiers lost it, didn't even see it. Looked around, found it, and got himself two points. 16 points for Thiers, 14 of those from the floor. Alan Thompson with the ball. Now to Rod Williams. Hartwright is on the bench. The shot is taken by Randall. And he's got his first two points from the floor. A total of four. Loose to Theus, and you don't leave him alone. Forget it. It'll be Theus on one side, Sutton Sam on the other. They'll knock the eyes out of that hoop. That's 18 points for Theus. A nine-point lead for Las Vegas over San Francisco. Thompson drives all the way and feeds off to Hardy. Picked up by Gondrasek. Las Vegas is running him to death. That ball went off the knees of Lewis Brown. San Francisco gave us to get the ball inside. They can't do it. Ball belongs to Las Vegas. Cartwright is on the bench. The Dons have won 
all year long, 29 straight by muscling the ball inside. Have not been able to do that this afternoon. It's a very difficult thing to do. You have to Vegas has had things pretty much its own way. Here is Tony Smith in, number 22. Sam Williams, or rather Sam Smith in the side. Here's Theus. He's been hot all day. Less time, no good. Sam Smith goes in. Pump, pump, puts it up. No good again. Picked up by Alan Thompson of San Francisco. Hard right. Their second team All-America remains on the bench. Thompson, no good. That is Boynes getting a couple of points. Boynes is 18 for him. He's been a savior in this first half. Kept the Dons right in this game. 6-6, six, six, only a sophomore. Sam Smith is caught there by Thompson as he went by. Well, he was caught by Thompson and then collared by, by Chubby Cox. Here's Thompson driving net. Smith driving, Thompson hooking. Smith goes to the line for the first time. He's a good free throw shooter, better than 82%. No, he plays, if you see that bandage on his left leg, he has tendonitis pretty badly, and it bothers him sometimes. But he has this, this new rubberized uh, bandage. It's, it's sort of a binding on there, and he says it helps it an awful lot. Keeps it warm, keeps him sweating, keeps him in that game. He's from Las Vegas, and of course his brother... It was Willie Smith, the great scorer for Missouri. Another turnover. Tony Smith is going to do it all by himself. And he gets a power sign as he switches the net. 53 42. Third ranked San Francisco down by 11. Boyd has been doing it all. Misses this time. Smith goes up. The running Rebels are hot at the moment. Smith tries from outside again. He gets another one in this crowd. Goes crazy. Tony Smith, number 22. They call this game a toss-up. At the moment, there's a 13-point lead. And San Francisco looks thoroughly discombobulated. Smith picks up the foul. You know, the style of Nevada, Las Vegas, borders on being frantic. It's perpetual motion. Robert L. Smith comes in. Tony goes out. One of the things that's very difficult to do, Jim Simpson, is to keep the same pace, the same tempo by exchanging guards. But with Tony Smith and Robert Smith, not related, they can do that at Nevada Las Vegas. And it keeps the pressure on, also gives him a breather from time to time. Randall misses, rebound, Theus. He'll slow it as up as they're back on defense. Smith, who's a bomber, does not hit this one, but Lewis Brown is there, and he's open, and he scores. Four points for Brown. The Rebels are running San Francisco into the ground. They've got them by 15 points. Turnover again. Everybody's there. Gondo gets it. One fast break after another. Glenn Kansas is on the end of that one. The Dons are being run out of town. Gondo goes up and is hit from behind. Oh, that was a pretty bad foul. Glenn Gondosek driving into the hoop, and Thompson comes, be comes behind, and he pushed him in the back. That is Players going around. Officials trying to keep Pete out there. On Alan Thompson, and I, he may be out of the game. He may have been thrown out of the game. Jim Simpson and say that it was intentional, but it was a flagrant foul. It was a flagrant foul. There was no way that Gunderzek could have controlled himself going into the hoop. He was going full space. Let's watch it again. Here's Tom. the play. Glenn Gunderzek driving into the hoop. He's up in the air. Well, I would say that it looked as though it was a flagrant foul. It looked like Thompson tried to catch him and then decided not to. But this is a tough man, Gunderzik. If you put a brick ball out there and you say you go through it, Glenn would do it. He's up on his feet and walking around. He'll be able to shoot his free throws. Well, he took so many charges two years ago that they had to remove a cyst from his chest. He's tough. He is the from the same Kamikaze School of Basketball. I believe, and I have not received word from the bench. We'll check with the NCAA officials. I believe Alan Thompson is out of the game. 
is gone to the sideline, and he came back to shake Gondo's hand before going back to sit down. 59 to 42, a minute and a half to go. There's the handshake. Well, this is the one we talked about this. How when you expect a game to be a toss-up with two red-hot teams that somebody can blow somebody else out. Well, we know we've got 21 and a half minutes to go. Owens is shooting the shot for Gondo. And Owens an 84% shooter from the line. He's Mr. Cool out there, Mr. Comfortable. He hasn't really been a factor, and he is a team's leading scorer, averaging 21 a game. About seven now, 61 to 42. Williams. From the side. Hardy. 13 straight points. Before Hardy got that one. Here's Theus. Cartwright back in. He's got the rebound. They've missed him. Cox has to shoot from outside. In and out. Lewis Brown knocks it over to Sam Smith. Less than a minute to go. <laughs> now from the bench, they get the word, move it around, play for a shot, let the clock run down. The momentum is on their side, the 17-point lead, so they'll move it around. And San Francisco, of course, will have to come out. San Francisco has been criticized all year, Jim Simpson, because a lot of people said, how can you vote them the number one team in the nation? They don't play a representative schedule. The Dons can show what they're made of this afternoon, but they've got a pretty big deficit. 20 seconds left. San Francisco, number three in the nation. Las Vegas, number five in the nation. San Francisco, winners of 29 in a row before beaten by Notre Dame. A game you saw at NBC a couple of weeks back. Today it belongs to Las Vegas. Shot from outside by Smith. Robert Smith. Eight points for him. And that's the end of the half. 63 to 44. The team's leading scorer has three fouls. He's going to have to be careful. Cartwright underneath. And that's ten points for Cartwright. Did not play much of the first half. This is a fast game, and Cartwright was taken out. Don Rizek, 25. Eddie Owens, 11. Sam Smith beating that into Gondo. Here's Robert Smith, 10. They continue to move the ball around fast. Lewis Brown shooting over Cartwright. And Brown has six points. 45-46. Now, Jim, it's not impossible. This is not a team that quits on you. San Francisco has come back in the past. They can do it. It's going to be tough on. Chubby Cox, 23, to Cartwright at the top of the key, getting the ball in to Redmond. Ball away jumper. No good. Ball is knocked out. And this is Eddie Owens, and he's going to slow it up a little bit. Owens trying to drive on Cox. And Owens picks up the foul. And that's his fourth. Now that means that Larry Moffat and Eddie Owens. I think they reversed it. Oh, they did there. reverse it. Right. Okay, it's on Chubby Cox. So Chubby Cox gets it. Eddie Owens is so smooth, he'll rock you to sleep, and he's got a good first step. That's two points goal, and they give the two points to Sam Smith, and now it's 12. And Sam Smith went down, and Cartwright came right down on his leg and kind of twisted him around there. Lewis Brown and Bill Cartwright are having words. <laughs> Cartwright was having words with one of his own teammates, Chubby Cox, back in the first half. Well, if Lewis Brown is out there, you know he's going to talk about it to somebody. He loves to talk it up. Driving along the baseline, Redmond unable to get the ball away, and Las Vegas has it. It was 19 to 10 in turnovers in the first half. Robert Smith tipped him by Brown. Lewis Brown off the bench for Larry Muffet, who has four fouls. Three-point lead for Nevada-Las Vegas. Cartwright 
Try to go to the basket, and he is fouled by Brown. And that'll be his third. Bush Brown started to applaud his effort out there. He didn't mind picking up that foul because he was all over Cartwright. There's Jerry Jarkanian, still worried with a 23-point lead. Here's a play, Cartwright. And Lewis Brown blocked the shot, but was all over Cartwright with the body. Yeah, but remember, Lewis Brown won center. Pivot man has three. As Cartwright misses. And the other Larry Moffat has four fouls. So he can ill afford to applaud, because you would hate to have Cartwright in there at 6'11 and a half. And no big man to guard him. Cartwright misses two. Follow-up is no good. Redmond follows. And now has eight points. 69-48. Lots of time left. 18-18. But what has to happen is San Francisco's got to start dictating the pace. Oh, it's from outside, and there for the rebound of Cartwright. Long pass to Redman, who misses it. Ball away jumper and gets the tough one. Ten points for Redman. 69-50. Bondrzejk, the baseline, the ground. No good. Cartwright's got a rebound, and now San Francisco begins to head a little bit closer. Off the knee of Winford Boynes and out of bounds. As I said there were 19 turnovers by San Francisco in the first half and 10 for Las Vegas. Now there have been 21 turnovers. Dondrasek dropping it through. And that was an absolute rainmaker. Another step, he would have been off the board. He fired it and got it. 71 to 50. Orange trying to get it inside. Knocked away by Brown. Picked up by Smith. Here's Eddie Orange. The food scores. And the foul is on Hardy. And that's his second. You know, when you watch Eddie Orange play, he has such fluid motion, you don't realize how quick he is. But as you saw him go around there, he's just very quick and dangerous. Good Robert dribbler for a 6'7 man. Robert Smith, Sam Smith, Lewis Brown. Robert Smith and Glenn Gondrasek are in there. And there's Lewis Brown. And Owens is there, and he is fouled by Hardy, who said, wait a minute, I was on the ball. That's his third personal. Hardy might have a point there. There's Owens going up over the rim to get it, and there's Hardy coming. He probably bumped him with the body. Owens goes to the line. San Francisco has Boynes, Cox, Cartwright, Redmond, and Hardy. They're starting five. You know, you kind of wonder... The Battle of Las Vegas has scored 100 points 20 times this season. And there were two games that they scored 99. The free throw was taken away because of a lane violation. It looks like they're going to top the century mark today. San Francisco has eight 100-point games. That shot, no good. Eddie Owens loses the ball out of bounds. Eddie took his eyes off of that pass to get his bearing on the basket and fumbled it out of bounds. 23-point margin. Inside, and who gets it? Lewis Brown. That's what it is, and that is four on him. And now, out of Las Vegas, they're going to bring back in Moffitt. Remember, as he comes in, he has four on him. And we have 16.49 to go. Well, it'll be interesting to see Jim if the Battle of Las Vegas will change your style. All season, they have gone with a man-to-man -man pressure defense. If they have to lose these two big men. Ooh, look at Cartwright. He misses the ball. Again, out of bounds. Belongs to Las Vegas. And I want to tell you, Larry Moffitt made quite a chance in going after Cartwright there. He could have fouled out. Every Vegas fan in the in the stadium here held their breath on that one. But we'll see if they have to go to a zone if they need it. Robert Smith drops it in. Ten points for Robert Slick Smith, the captain. 75 to 50. That's Gondo. Cox from behind. Poor Gondo has been in some unbelievable collisions. That was unavoidable. Chubby Cox coming back, trying to catch Gondo. You'll see. Here we go. And here is the trip. That's three on Cox. Well, San Francisco came into the ball game 29 and 1. Las Vegas came in 25 and 2. They lost their two by a total of eight points. 
And Jim, that last replay is kind of indicative of what it's been all afternoon. The Dons chasing the Rebels. Smith, Sam misses. And now Cox catches up with this ball. Takes the shot and hits. Jubby Cox now has four points. Dondo, he'll go in. And miss Owen. Seventy-seven fifty-two. Hardy. Hardy now has six points. Seventy-seven fifty-four. Robert Smith. Hardy with the rebound. You just never get a chance to catch their breath. There comes out Fagel again. Defensive team play. Owens goes up and is hit by Redmond, and that is his fourth personal foul. Owens about as tricky as they come underneath the basket. He'll use you, he'll put it between your arms. Darkanian, his assistants, his team are thrilled. San Francisco side, things are very quiet. They're still trying to figure out this game. Well, this is in. Oh, Jerry won't be thrilled until it's all over. There's Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell. This has come in. 15.30 to go. An unbelievable game. Preceding announcement brought to you by the NCAA as Owens. Drops his six free throw through. Here's Cox. Whistle blows. They were going down like bowling pins underneath there. Moffat and Smith goes down. I think the foul is on number 10, Robert Smith. That is his third. Well, it has been run, shooter foul. Here's the drive and there's the bump. Another turnover is Theus. Knocks the ball away to Gondo. Three on two. Gondo goes all the way in. Gondo six. Guys, 12 points. Goes to the hooper about as well as anyone in the country. Just barrels right in there. 15 minutes left, 80 to 54. Shot from the side by Boyd was no good. Cartwright tips it up, no good. Cartwright puts it up and drops it through. Good effort by Cartwright. Three or four tips in there and they get that hoop. Moffitt is hurt underneath the basket and it's officials time up. Looks like he was hit in the eye. Well, let's see. While well, we do have a moment, Redmond has four personal fouls. Cox three, Cartwright three, Hardy three for San Francisco. For Nevada, Las Vegas, Moffitt four, Lou Brown four, Owens three, and Robert Smith three. Remember, the NCAA continues right along. We'll have the regional semifinals next Thursday night. Everybody will see at least one game. And then next Saturday, a triple header across the United States. Before moving on to the Omni down in Georgia for the semifinals on Saturday the 26th and the finals on the 28th. That's the night game on a Monday. And I guarantee you the way Las Vegas is hot today, you may see them around there. There's Owens. We've seen a lot of shooters. We haven't seen Owens get hot yet. He is capable. He has finally picked himself out for him. That's about the fifth time that he's gone down. This one called on Winfred Boyd's player control foul. That's third for Boyd. 82 to 56. Well, Rob Williams is on his feet and will come in. And Boynes will go out after picking up his third personal foul. Bob Gaylord, AP, UPI Coach of the Year, saw his team lose the final game of the season, and now it's being taken apart here. Here's Gondo. Diaz recovers. Time is on on Las Vegas' side. 26-point lead. Not that they're going to take it. <laughs> From the side, Tony Smith drops it in, and look, San Francisco is now standing around. Gondo gets it. Gondo using the glass, banked that one from about 18 feet. No Don left his feet in that exchange. There's Chubby Cox lifting his feet. Moffitt with the rebound. San Francisco not getting up on either board. Gondo goes up and drops the two. He doesn't care what side of the floor he's on. A 30-point lead for Nevada Las Vegas. Williams from outside. No good. And again, they're just standing there. Cartwright was knocked down. Cartwright slow coming up court. The pace Very is fast. on Cartwright. Moffitt is walking with the ball. 
You know, this just isn't the pace that the San Francisco Dons like to play, and they have not been able to dictate their own. This Rebel team just runs and runs and runs. They're aggressive, they hack, they pull, they shove, whatever they have to do out there. But it's defense that's giving them the poison. I can see what Jerry Tarkanian told us yesterday. Randall is back in, number 21. Cox covered up quickly in the corner. Underneath to Hardy, and he's going to be fouled by Moffitt, I believe, and that'll be all for Moffitt. Larry Moffitt with four points is walking. 13, 15 to go. He's through for this game at least. And then falling out, he gets a standing ovation from the Nevada Las Vegas fans. Lou Brown will come in. Actually, Hardy, here we are. Moffitt could have let that one go because Hardy had a stop. No way you're going to stop that one. Hardy is at the line. He has six points. 0 for 3 from the line so far. Hardy's a good free throw shooter, though. He hit 75% on the year. Well, he's 0 for 4 now. It's been that kind of afternoon for San Francisco. And you can read it in their faces. Lewis Brown and Tony Smith couldn't get their signals together, and Lou kind of bounced one off of Tony's natural. As Jerry Tarkanian leaning back, he's still not going to relax. He knows that anything can happen, and usually does. San Francisco, we've told you time and again, loves to get the ball inside. Rod Williams throws it away, trying to get it inside, but nobody was breaking for the basket. 86-57. Owen. The tempo of this game has been set by Las Vegas from the opening whistle. The Dons never got a chance to get their game plan underway. Las Vegas came out and it's 63% in the first half, shooting many shots from outside. And just blew them out. Tarkanian says he's got eight starters. They work hard. Theus misses. Ball is still in the air, and Randall comes down with it. Two on one break. There's Williams back in for the easy layup to Chuck Cox. Lewis Brown wisely lets Cox go right in for that basket because he's in foul trouble, too, and they need a big man out there. With a big lead, you don't have to challenge a player on every play. Owens way outside, and now they'll come out on his back. Dondo goes all the way in and misses and he's caught with a charging foul. And I think that was a good call. Dondo about to go to that hoop. Here he goes, Jim. He is up. He is in. Hardy in position, takes a charge and picks up the foul. And that's the third personal foul on Don Brzee. Williams bringing the ball up for 12 minutes left in the ball game. Right. From outside, in and out. Cox is going to put it up. Drops in and out again. Knocked over, picked up by Cox. Las Vegas reaching now. Well, Redmond finally gets to the shot. 12 points for Martin. Las Vegas, Nevada trying to slow it up a little bit. They seem out of character. Six points for him. The winner of this game is going to face Utah. Rondo's got it, and reaching over is Randall. Randall, out of pure frustration, just reached over to try to get it back. That Gondo is unbelievable, number 25. He's from Boulder, Colorado, and of course, he was one of the greatest prep players out of that area. Well, they have, to come, they have to come down to this end, Tom, because that's a seven-team foul with 11 minutes, 15 seconds to go. So you know how the scoring of this can go. Gondo has 16 points, but he's 0 for 2 from the line. This is 1-1. One one. Utah this afternoon beats St. John's. When they tell you that a team averages 108 points a game, 40 minutes of college play. You just don't believe it. Here's living proof of it, and they've done it 20 times this year, 100 or more, and on the way to another century note. 
Redmond from outside. That's 14 points from Arlen. Senior from San Francisco, perhaps playing his last game. Sam Smith, he was hot in the first half. Theus drives all the way in, misses it, catches his own rebound, and over the shoulder tries to do it, and they're pointing at Cartwright. And that's four on Cartwright. You know, Jim, San Francisco has had one heck of a year, and this must be an awful difficult and embarrassing position for them to be in. For nine weeks, they were the number one team in the nation. And with 29-0 record, they went into Notre Dame last weekend and lost their national television. And of course here, never have been in this game. But what a season they put together. And there's Bob Gay, UPI and AP Coach of the Year. Well, I remember when you up at Notre Dame, when there was a 16 in a row down to Kentucky to play in the NCAAs. And <laughs> you were favored by a point at Lexington, and Kentucky won by 30 that's right. Did you had to bring that up, did you? Sure. <laughs> That's 20 points for Reggie Theus. Williams down court. 10.47 to go. 91 to 63. Randall shoots. No good. There's some hustle by Boynes. Well, now it's 22 points. One super sophomore. Went for Boynes. You know, San Francisco only loses one player off of the starting team, and that is Marlon Redmond, number 32. Theus... No good. Diaz, he is hustling, and he puts it in. A coach's dream. Follow your own shot. And Robert Smith. 22 points for Reggie Diaz. Smith from outside. It'll be short. Right in the hands of Cartwright, who's tied up. And the foul, I believe, is on Robert Smith. Tournament time, there's no prediction, Jim Simpson. You look at these things, everybody across the country looked at this game, and they said, toss up. All right, let me tell you something. You can see it as well as I can. We've got better than 10 minutes to go, and Las Vegas, Nevada has already scored 93 points with 10 minutes left to go. What kind of scoring is this going to be? Tony Smith comes in. There he is, 22. Robert Smith goes out. Card right at the line. He is two for four from there. One shot. That's 13 points for Bill Cartwright. Misses that. Boynes has a nice block put on him by Theus. Behind the back dribble. Stopped. Wanted to get the shot away. Could not. Knocked away, that'll be goaltending. With five minutes to go in the first half, it's Arkansas 32, Wake Forest 26. Well, 9.53 to go. 95 to 66, Nevada, Las Vegas. Some wagon makers like Sharon NBC. Redmond bringing the ball down court against Sam Smith. Out to Boynes. Redmond from way outside, but that's what he must do. Ball is dropped away by Lou Brown and picked up by Sam Smith. Nine and a half minutes to go. Las Vegas has been quick and scoring a lot like that. Oh, 18 points. And Las Vegas is three away from that 100 mark that they've hit 20 times this year. Hardy from outside. No good. Picked up by Redmond in underneath the Cartwright, who misses the layup. Oh, he's going to shoot. Nobody else is down court. Everybody will still back up court. Boyne takes it all the way in, but I think he was taking too many giant steps. With about three and a half to go in the first half is Kentucky 25, Princeton 14. Quite a contrast to this game today. Oh, 20, well, let's see, that's 39 points. They scored in about 39 seconds. <laughs> Tony Smith from outside. No good. Picked up by Boyne. 8.40 to go. Rod Williams has a clear shot. And Williams scores. Theus goes down for the seventh time of the afternoon. 97 to 68. All the way in goes Theus. What a beautiful virtuoso move. Reggie Theus just 
the sophomore. 99 points. Whoops. And Theus is going to be called with a foul. Chubby Cox is coming back in. The 19-point lead at halftime by Nevada Las Vegas has now been expanded to 21. 31. 31-point lead. Dondo comes back in. Bonnie Smith goes out. Robert Smith comes back in. So it's Lewis Brown, Eddie Owens, Don Brzezik, Sam Smith, and Robert Smith. This has 24 points. This is Boynes. You know, this is a bit of pill for San Francisco to swallow, but to their advantage, Bill Cartwright, Winford Boynes, and James Hardy, all sophomores, all will be back. And they're learning a lesson here today. Las Vegas continues to move the ball around. Running San Francisco, Lou Brown is guilty of walking as he turned to make the dribble. Lou envisioned those points right away. Hardy from way outside and does not have it, and Owens has the ball knocked away, and I believe there's going to be a foul on number 34. That's Boynes, and that's his fourth. Well, if you had to pick a most viable player in this game, would it be Theus, who's got 24? Would it be Robert Smith, who's controlled the ball from backcourt? Would it be Gondrasek, who's taken all those charges? Would it be Boynes for San Francisco? We're going to make a selection of some kind before this game is over, but we've got more than seven minutes of playing time to go. Hardy has a rebound as Owens misses. Here's Boynes. Taking the shot and scores. Boynes, of course, had 20 points in the first half there. 26 so far. <laughs> Luke Brown was standing on the wing. <laughs> and uh, Roberts must say, hey, go down to the center where you belong. We got a play to run. Well, uh, Williams draws the foul, and he comes out. There's Bob Gayard, who was uh, WCAC uh, All-Conference player for two years. As a matter of fact, up until this year, he held the single season record, a single game record for scoring 41 points. And 100. The century note on the reaction from the Las Vegas Nevada fans. That's 100. Sam Smith does it, and we've got 728 to go. 21 times this year, 100 or more for the record. Cox. Along the baseline, Redmond does an excellent job. Dondo didn't look around for that. He was going down court. Everybody might be getting tired. When they go to analyze what happened today, they'll not only look at the superior shooting, but they'll be able to tell you that San Francisco never got its game plan going and Las Vegas has been doing just exactly what it wants to do. Set the tempo and the tempo is very fast. This is about as slow as they've been. Rose Brown taking the shot. No good. Hardy with the rebound. He's their leading rebounder. Ball is off the hands of Redmond. Knocked away. That'll be two points for Redmond. Brown knocked it away and Lou Brown was down court very fast. Got back on defense there. Redmond, of course, moving quickly. Brown slaps it away. Cartwright slams it. 25-point lead for the running Rebels. And are quite content to slow things down. Lou Brown's hardly even moving under the basket. Letting him move the ball around. Run the clock down a little bit. Oh, it's Bond. Eddie Owen, 20 points for him. Ball taken away by Gondo. Cox draws the foul. Gondo showed a little manual dexterity there, took it through his legs and picked up a foul. And Nevada Las Vegas needs only five points to match their season's average of 108 points a game. Well, Don Rizic is at the line. And he's got it. You know, I think Tom Hawkins and I feel a little like San Francisco feels. We came in wanting to set the tempo of the game ourselves, be able to talk back and forth to one another, tell you what's going on, and all we're doing is saying, there are more points on the board. 
That's right. And it's a very difficult thing. A lot of people will say that you're one-sided, but when you have to call the momentum, you have to call it. And the momentum has been all the Battle of Las Vegas this afternoon. W. Cox tries to take it in. Yes, yes. Two five. Two five. That's Gondo drawing his fourth personal foul. A lot of folks in foul trouble. Uh, and one is fouled out. That is Larry Moffitt. And one was thrown out. And that was Alan Thompson back in the first half for a flagrant foul from behind on Gondo. We. We've had some great individual performances on the part of the San Francisco Dons this afternoon, but they haven't been able to put it together as a team. And but Boynes has lived up to his reputation. Beautiful, beautiful offensive player. Also the senior, Marlon Redman, playing his last game for the Dons, has been phenomenal out there, but the team effort has not been there. But still they're fighting, they're out there, they're putting everything they have into it. but it did not work as Cox goes in and scores. Trying to hold the ball. I don't know if Las Vegas can play a slowdown game. They're probably bored to death out there. It's the old four corners offense where a guy like Robert Smith is the man who's the catalyst to make it go. But it cost him two points that last time. The crowd here wants to see more scoring, and as you can tell, to the crowd. There's Smith. And at halftime, it's Kentucky 29, Princeton 22. Ball is knocked away by Gondo, but out of bounds off the hands of Owens. San Francisco has committed 17 more turnovers than has Las Vegas. 17 more turnovers. Again, Jim, defense has dictated those turnovers and as you can see when you got people swarming all over you all the time you're bound to make mistakes Jeff Randall Jeff Randall another senior for the San Francisco Dons 107 81 and now Hardy he knows he did that and that's his fourth you know, people look at this Nevada Las Vegas team in amazement. How can you keep that kind of pace up for a full game? And you actually only play eight men, but they do it effectively well. Well, they say that they don't have the big men, and they just got to work harder. And so they work at working hard, and that's what they've been doing today. I thought that the San Francisco Downs coming into this game would try to dominate the inside. I thought that was a strong point, and that's where I would see their main concentration. Never got a chance to. Well, I remember in practice yesterday, Jarkadian was saying if they get inside on us, they'll kill us. That's right. Long pass, beautiful pass, and there's a foul charged against Diaz. And this time it is Boynes who's on the floor. We'll watch Winfrey Boynes as he comes in and he gets a pass from Jeff Randall. Here's Reggie Diaz going up. Boynes times pretty good. Diaz catches him on the way back. Well, Diaz, he's... A sophomore, he's got two more years to go, but with the 25 points he now has, that is his career scoring record. Boynes drops it through. 108-82, 27 points for Boynes. Make it 28. Four, 22 to go. And at halftime is Arkansas 46, Wake Forest 33. Hey, the Southwestern Conference is coming alive. Arkansas, of course, last week won an important game against Houston down in Houston. Robert Smith, it is not going to drop. And there was Sam Smith racing across to knock it off. From talking to some of the so-called experts here at the uh, Western Regionals, they say they feel that Arkansas might be one of the dark horses. That may be so, but the so-called experts picked this ball game to be a toss-up. <laughs> it's always the case. You know, Jim, this is a beautiful tournament because I would say there are 15 to 18 teams that could actually win this tournament. No dominant team in the NC2A this year. As opposed to an Indiana of last year or UCLA of other years. Definitely. Hardy from outside. Hits the front. That's this. Back to this. He will go all the way in. 27 points. 10-83. Boys, or rather Redmond at the other end. Hits. 110-85. We said we might have a 200-point ball game here. We're five points from it. They laughed when we sat down to the piano to tell them. <laughs> but we're going to play this duet. Underneath, Robert Smith loses the ball. 
Here's Randall dunking it. That's what you call a challenge. You know that gun, though, it's hard in those guys. He's going to come at you. Jeff Randall just went right in and jammed it. Well, you know that he's got to be hard-nosed, Gondo. He's one of 13 children, and in a family like that, you got to battle. You're <laughs> doggone right. Less than three minutes ago, 110-87. Owen hits again. We're with one, one point of a 200-point game. It's 112 to 87. Chubby Cox. Gondo has the rebound, and they're pointing at Hardy, and that's all for him. If that's right, that's five. with seven points, just half of his usual scoring average. There's Hardy from Long Beach, and a great sophomore. It's a disappointing way to end this season. He's been so instrumental in this team's great record of 29-1 and one coming into this game. Matt Porter, 32, has come in. Mike Milkey, 14, has come in for Las Vegas. UNLV, they call themselves. Here's Gondo. He's having a great day today. 20 points for him. we got to pick an MVP here in the next minute and a half. Look what you've got on the scoreboard there, Jim. That's 200 points. You got your 200 point game. This is the first one we've ever worked. Yeah, our score there is wrong. It's 113, not 112. And this will be 114 to 87, 201 points. From outside, boy and hit. Who knows, maybe San Francisco will wind up 100 in this one. All the way in, Robert Smith, oh, he gets clobbered by Randall. Now Sam, or rather Gary Wagner comes in, 31. Wagner and Owens just give each other five. They were teammates at Wheatley High School in Houston, Texas. Boynes in a losing cause has 30 points, and that has tied his career high. And he is another sophomore. Robert Smith. 115 to 89. Lewis Brown is about to come back in. Ray Hamilton is about to come in for San Francisco, number 33. You know, Jim, it's amazing that you can hit your average in uh, University of San Francisco with 89 points, can hit their average of 93, and still be this far out of the game. Gondo gets a standing ovation, 21 points. There he is, 6'6", Glenn Gunderson. Senior from Boulder, Colorado. What a game he played. Smith drops it through. And now John Rodriguez is going to come in. Out. Another standing ovation. San Francisco, 29 wins in a row. Losers of their last two. Redmond has 22 points now. I would imagine that Jerry Pim, who was so happy after his team beat St. John's, is looking on in dismay at the team he's got to face Thursday night in Provo, Utah. And that's Las Vegas. Wagner into the ball game. No good. Tips it by Brown. Big move with the lefty. Stops the through. 118.91. 154 to go. Cartwright having a frustrating day. Is fouled by Rodriguez. make our pick with a minute 50 to go the most viable player because this ball game cannot be changed around by what has happened and many of the regulars are sitting down we'd like to announce that Robert Smith of Nevada Las Vegas has been selected by Tom and me as the recipient of the Gillette Track 2 Most Valuable Player Scholarship Award a check for a thousand dollars will be sent to Nevada Las Vegas in Robert Smith's name and Robert Smith will receive the track 2 MVP certificate as a personal symbol of his outstanding play today and that was a difficult decision to make but Smith has played so well and he is the floor leader and he's the leader of that defensive charge he's a point man the team quarterback that's why they made him captain trying to get away the shot is Eric Gilberg and he is fouled 118 to 93 and believe me 
after the first three or four minutes of the ball game, San Francisco was not in it. They were down by seven and nine very quickly. And at the half, they were down by 19. Jim, you were talking about Robert Smith. He's the team's leading assist man. He has a record. He came into this game with a record 176 assists. Gilbert now has two points. 30 to go. Wagner from outside does not hit. Dragged down by Hamilton. Williams goes in, misses. And Hamilton couldn't get the shot off. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC television network. KORK TV, Las Vegas. Hawkins, we've looked in on a ball game that was labeled a toss-up, but has been not close at all, and Nevada Las Vegas has proven that among those 15 or 18 teams Tom was talking about that could win it all in the Omni Nevada, count this one in. But remember, Nevada Las Vegas is in the same draw with UCLA. I must play Utah next Thursday night. And four times UCLA knocked Jerry K Tarkanian out of the NCAA tournament when it was at Long Beach State. So he really Jerry wants this one. He would love a rematch. And of course UCLA was down by five and seven points midway through the second half today against Louisville, but came back to win rather handily. This is Mike Milkey at the line. 105 to go. Mike has a chance to add to the total, which shows 118, but misses his first. Another California player. And misses his second. Cartwright to Eric Gilbert. Williams. Ball lost out of bounds. That has been a continuing story also today. And there is Bob Gayard. Very sad, dejected look on his face. And you can understand it after the season that he's had. Lou Brown from outside. No good. Picked up by Gilbert. Williams knocks down Lou Brown. Randall from the side. No good. Battle underneath. And they're going to point at number 33, John Rodriguez. <laughs> Lou, Lou Brown took a good shot. Went down. Max in the air. Extended spread eagle. And got up the math. 118 to 95. Well, it's not funny in the Bay Area, I can tell you. But to the Las Vegas folks... But let me say something to the folks in the Bay Area. Stay behind this team. They're a young team. They will be back. This is very disappointing. It's a bitter thing, I know. But they gave it it all. They gave it their all out here. It just wasn't there. Now there Porter. is a smile from Jerry Tarkanian. That may be an all-time first that I've seen in <laughs> tournament play. Rodriguez goes up. Cannot get it. Randall comes down with it. Rodriguez, 30 seconds to go. Will take the shot. Wide, Milky with the rebound, 119.95. Porter to Brown, almost lost her out of bounds, 20 seconds to go. They're yelling for him to shoot, and he lost the ball. And then fouled, and fouls out. For those of you who have never seen Jerry Tarkanian coach in the battle, let's make a smile during your game. Here it is. Witness. Lou Brown fouls out. Both bid men have fouled, fouled out, but with 15 seconds to go, and the big 24-point lead. At one time, Las Vegas, Nevada, led by 30 points. Here's Cartwright, has 15 points. Misses here. Wagner down court with it. Milky, no good. Follow-up is good. Rodriguez, 121, the McHale Center record is 122, there it is, 121.95, Nevada, Las Vegas, unbeats the team and for much of the year.